Paul was preaching with the power of the Holy Spirit. Acts chapter 17, he had just left Philippi and he comes to the enormous city called Thessalonica. Philippi was a strategic city in the north in Macedonia. He would travel 100 miles with Silas. They would be on a trail kind of like what I'm hiking this morning. And they would come to the city of Thessalonica, a quarter of a million. He would go to the synagogue and preach three Sabbaths in a row, preaching and teaching that Jesus is the Messiah. Many people came to the Lord Jesus Christ, but it wasn't an easy experience. As you carefully consider Acts chapter 17, you will realize just the difficulty that they faced. But he was faithful, and he preached and taught faithfully, and he established an incredible church. Later on, he's going to write a letter to them from Corinth. This letter is called 1 Thessalonians, and then 2 Thessalonians. Now, from Philippi all the way down to Corinth is about six to 700 miles. Paul and Silas, along with Timothy and Luke sometimes, would make that journey, starting churches all along the way. Thessalonica was an incredible city. And we read in 1 Thessalonians chapter 1 about the joy that Paul had in the faithfulness of these people that had established the church in Thessalonica. He was so grateful for their faithfulness and how they loved God, how they turned away from idols. You can read for extra credit today, 1 Thessalonians chapter 2 and get a greater understanding of the suffering and the difficulty and the rejoicing and the faithfulness of all that happened in Thessalonica. You see, the church is recorded historically in Acts chapter 17 being birth. But the true story and the rest of the story is actually found concealed in the letters that Paul would write to these churches. How Thessalonica was changed by the power of the Holy Spirit. We must always remember when people study church planning and sociology and, and demographics, we must never forget that churches have something more than a plan or a strategy or ways to reach people. We have the Holy Spirit. It is the power of the Holy Spirit in the preaching and the teaching. There's no gimmicks. There's no tricks. It's a lot of hard work and sacrifice and difficulty that Paul and Silas face. And it's the power of the Holy Spirit and the simplicity of the message that Jesus is the Messiah. Paul is going to leave Thessalonica and go south about a hundred miles to an area called Brea. And here he found people that were open-minded to the things of God. And they wanted to learn more and more. And the Bible says they searched the scriptures faithfully every day. And many of the Jewish believers gave their hearts to Christ. And many of the pagan, heathen, Greeks would give their heart to the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, what a thrill to be reading through the journey of the church in Acts chapter 17 as we meditate on the churches that were established in both Thessalonica and Brea. Tomorrow we'll be looking at Athens and this incredible sermon that Paul is going to preach in a pagan city. You be blessed today as you fill your heart with God's holy word, meditating on Acts chapter 17. And extra credit, 1 Thessalonians chapter 2. Father, I pray your blessing. I pray the power of the Holy Spirit be released in heart and life today as we walk guided by your spirit in Jesus name be blessed